The simplest explanation of quantum mechanics is that it represents the physics of time itself as a physical process, with classical physics representing processes over a period of time, as in Newton's differential equations. In such a theory, the universe would be a continuum formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light, with the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons, forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual. If our eyes were more sensitive to the light waves of the electromagnetic spectrum, we would be able to see that everything is continuously radiating electromagnetic waves representing a universal process of energy exchange. We can think of the atoms as standing waves in time, with light being a wave over a period of time, and only having particle characteristics when it interacts with the atoms. This process of energy exchange is therefore relative to the atoms of the periodic table, and because we are made of atoms, it is also relative to us. The wave-particle duality of light is relative to the energy and momentum of our actions, and therefore relative to the experiments we set up. This can be seen in the two-slit experiment. When we turn on an electronic detector, the interference pattern collapses and becomes part of the past in the reference frame of the experiment. If we turn the detector off, over a period of time, the interference pattern will reform. We are always in the center of our own reference frame as part of this universal process of energy exchange with the potential to interact with other reference frames, such as the two-slit experiment. Reference frames are continuously changing and coming in and out of existence, with photon energy continuously cascading down from the sun, forming greater degrees of freedom for entropy or disorganization, forming the passage or continuum of time. There is no concept of time at all in the subatomic world within the atoms. All we have is the distribution of charge into three parts representing three-dimensional space. This is because the continuum of time is formed by light waves interacting with the electron cloud of probability that surrounds the atoms. When this happens, the future unfolds photon by photon with each new photon-electron coupling, or dipole moment. This process forms a movement of charge, with positive and negative charge forming a dynamic boundary condition, with the continuous flow of electromagnetic fields in three-dimensional space. Whenever the atoms bond or break, there is an exchange of photon energy with the future unfolding relative to the structure of the atoms. Water is a perfect example of this, with hydrogen bonds continuously breaking and reforming with the continuous exchange of photon energy. The interactive nature of this process can be seen with just a change in temperature forming structure of infinite diversity. Photon energy slows the rate that time flows as a process of continuous creation relative to the energy and momentum of each object or life form. Mass will increase relative to this, with the time dilation of Einstein's relativity being part of this universal process. This can be seen mathematically, with gravity and electromagnetism sharing the inverse square law representing the geometry of this universal process, with gravitation being a secondary force to electromagnetism. This universal process can be represented in just one equation 
representing a geometrical process in three-dimensional space with one variable in the form of time. In such a theory, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle would represent the uncertainty of everyday life within an individual reference frame at the smallest scale of the process. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this theory.